perhaps the most infamous image ever taken of an Australian in war time. But what happened to the body of the soldier featured in it has remained a mystery. Now, after more than seven decades, that mystery may well have been solved. I said by then that he knew what, his, what was going to happen to him. He knew that there was no way out for him and his other friends. It's October 1943. The prisoner of war is on his knees, blindfolded, his arms pinned, an executioner's sword poised above his head. Sergeant Sifleet was a radio operator with the Australian Army's Special Operations Unit when he was captured by Japanese soldiers in New Guinea. For weeks, he and two Ambonese colleagues were tortured, yet refused to reveal the whereabouts of their unit. They paid for that loyalty with their lives. Sergeant Len Sifleet's family treasure his medals and have given other documents, including a letter of condolence from Buckingham Palace, to the Australian War Memorial. Boyd was only 12 when his brother was murdered, and for seven long decades he thought often about his big brother's final resting place, whether or not the enemy soldiers had buried him promptly, a measure of respect, at least in death, that was denied to him in captivity. They started with the ambulance, dropping off the next. And our Australian friend was the last. They all got ready to see. Pius Mayo's mother watched the executions as a six-year-old. She told him about it when he was a boy. This is when the execution took place, and this daughter was planted on the cemetery. It's one of the rare occasions from World War II where a Japanese war atrocity was actually documented by photograph. A lot of people over the years have actually seen it, but uh, probably uh, not realised that there was not the, the uh, closing of the final chapter. That chapter may finally have been written. Last year, a plaque was laid in the village near where the executions took place. And now, the Australian Army's Unrecovered War Casualties Unit has officially opened an investigation to find Sergeant Sifleet's final resting place. 70 years old, it still matters so much. Yeah, it's such important stories, and it's so important that we don't forget and that we are, we do remember, and you can just look at photos going through war, you know, memorials. You don't take in what that meant and what it meant to the family. Mm. Yeah, behind every photo, there's, mm. there's a story like that. The amazing thing, the Australian Army's Uncovered War Casualties Department's going to open up a specific case file because of the work of mm. civilians. That's, that's a pretty extraordinary thing, like that, that people, just ordinary people, could start something like that.